Alright, so, yeah, we've had a, it's a, one of those lazy days of quarantine. Let's scoot this thing up still? No, mattress. Very odd. Aaron and I sleep out of sync from each other, so the bottom of the mattress, the bottom mattress is two boxes with a big old mattress on top. Plus it has a pad on top of that, so we have like four pieces that It's been sprinkly, which is beneficial because for those of you that watch regularly, my face is a little bit more red. Um, my uh, mission accomplished. Well, yeah. So, been busy today. Yes, uh, Javon, I do have intentions to get a tattoo. I just, things are kind of open up as my bike rides around. I've seen tattoo parlors open. They've probably been open for a little bit longer because they are registered as way super more hygienic. I don't know. I It doesn't need to happen now, but I have a few ideas. Um, that's why I was like, spoilers. Um, there's three significant things going to be happening this um, summer, because I'm just flat, I mean, aside from possibly losing a little bit of weight, um, that's not a significant thing. That just says, I decided to start eating right. <laughs> but, damn it, I need wood. Transportation. So yeah, um, I think the combination of sunburn, overheating, and stuff, I did not get much sleep last night, so I slept in and have been like groggy all damn day today. My hair is today's mascot of social distancing. It's coherent but chaotic. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's It's what happens when you sleep in gel after having it bake into your so bad. It's also the hairs like that. Anyways, so figured I would uh, take some time to uh, to bring up topics, weirdly, um, that, you know, I, I don't want to say clickbait, <laughs> um, because click, I, I don't really like clickbait, I, I understand it, um, but I rail on a lot of people on Facebook who only share news articles that are based on found headlines. Um, and yeah, we're, like the United States is having a media problem. <laughs> um, anyways, so I figured, like, I could talk about some things. People. I know I've brought Willie up a lot, and he and I have been talking recently. Uh, made sure to figure out what was going on with his life, and, uh, anyways. But... The little thing in the back of my head is, oh, go ahead, bring them up on the videos, talk about them. They won't get embarrassed. They don't want your shit. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but yeah, like, I've been, like, I see, like, you know, Sofian and Emerus and Sven, they kind of all hang around in uh, Utrecht, in that area, or Amersfoort, or wherever. Uh, don't know where they all live, but they have functional cars to get around to places to people, um, and they 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 pose their stuff, and it's it's refreshing being around them. But like, I understand that I don't quite fit in with them. There's just that younger millennial, uh, John Pierre, uh, has that. He's a uh, the Dutch military. He has some hamstring problems. Uh, hopefully he'll be back this next year. I'm kind of pushing him on Facebook. Like, dude, more stretchy. More stretchy. Come back. You know. Eh. He says, if I don't get deployed. The last time we were seriously talking about this, he's like, if I don't get deployed, I was like, well, it is World War III. Uh, that tells you how long ago that was. Um, check. Yeah, and actually 
frowned on videos that I shared on Facebook, and it was obviously it was the you know swapping of feet, and he runs a business that um, <laughs> does my you know that does bikes and stuff, bike rental marketplace sort of thing, I guess. And I was like, that's cool, but I don't really want to buy a bike right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, when I go to buy a bike, I, I will be looking up his service, but right now I'm kind of in the rental mood. Um, but it tells me that he does see my Facebook posts. Uh, sometimes I don't know if my teammates are on Facebook, but then you got like Dennis Hirschkopf, who... <laughs> You know, likes one of my posts. It's just like says, "Hey, you know what, kids? Don't, don't ponder suicide. Just tag me in your I'm being bullied post, and I will rip into an 11 year old bully, and I will sleep just fine. It's already too late for me." You know, so laughs like that. Um, and it, it, it's just it's it's weird, and I think that's what was causing it. I'd seen a few things recently that people. Like, they see my posts, but they don't necessarily react to them. Perhaps that's a American thing that I've grown accustomed to. Everyone's got to react to something. You have to show that you're there, even if it is in a negative way. <sighs> and anyways, I had figured that, like, maybe over the previous, like, like, the last year, I was telling someone that, like, I thought for some reason that like Sophion would be a replacement not that anyone can actually replace Willie but like I don't know and Sophion probably would have been a good replacement for Willie if Willie were in his early 20s not his borderline 30s um and it just I, I don't know but I realized that it was like that, that, like Frank. <laughs> Not again. You can't actually replace anybody, but the one person that it's just like I kind of want to pal around with and go do stupid shit with and like paddleboard. And he's probably a little bit more relaxed than I would think. Willie had that ADD anxiety that kept him hyped up all the time. Um, and typically I have to look for the more youthful people to do that, to match up with me. Uh, but anyways, so it, it's weird. I don't actually, like I miss Yan the linebacker, but I, I chat with him enough about work and his running and stuff and we make jokes, but it kind of worries me that I'm not gonna get bonded with anyone, I'm just gonna be Swapping memes back and forth. I mean, take what you can get. Statistics can't be choosy with how they interact with people. Just be thankful that you do interact with people. <laughs> I guess. Anyways. Mikael had a baby. Speaking of Mikael, he's... I, I kind of miss him. He's... <laughs> dorky in an extrovert way. <laughs> like, um... Like, he says, like, the most wonderful dad jokes and then puts on, like, that, that, that eel face. And I'm like, yeah, damn it. <laughs> and then, obviously, I, I guess, I guess with, like, Frank, it's like Mitchell. They feel like they're little brothers to me. But Mitchell would be, like, the big little brother because he's, like way heavier than me and he's a little taller than me he, he like reaches over and pats me on the head because he's like dutch tall um but like frank's over there and like his i don't know i find myself thinking about the team and the guys more recently not in that way get out of the gutter but like their personalities and stuff not just what they contribute to the team. I don't know what that is. I'm not shutting it down, but I'm not overly entertaining it. Anyways, that's it for today. Um, we're near the end of May. It's gonna be Jen.
I, that doesn't work out very well. It really only works one time a year.